Secretary NDC works very closely with Pertemps, Pertemps People Development Group and we've got this centre established here. One of the other big projects has been building of a leisure centre which is just about finished and of course people have been thinking who's going to work there and so working with the workshop here we've had this fantastic opportunity to try and press for local people to get the jobs and if they haven't quite got the skills or the confidence you know, to help them with it. It's been the most amazing success story, a fantastic buzz from the moment it started. Coachwright came along so we can work with you, give you all the kind of skills you need to do a job, you know, all the just employability skills. Meeting you know, Gareth and Brad and the people coming over, I, you know, it sounded good but when I saw them in action it's superb. And it's really, it's really attracted people to the course. The idea was that anybody who completed the course would be guaranteed an interview with the, uh, the sports trust who were recruiting for the centre. But our problem was we had, you know, like 40 who wanted to do the course. In the end, we whittled it down to 20 and gave other options to other people. But uh, the 20 that came on, we thought there'd be a dropout from them. And virtually all of them stuck all the way through the course, work experience, trips over to Birmingham. They got more and more enthusiastic. Nobody seemed to get disillusioned at all. From day one, we had 57 candidates come in, all very keen, interested to see what, what was we had to offer. It was a pleasure for me to actually come over and make the journey to Coventry every day knowing the sort of response that I'm going to get from these guys and for me again on the first day I turned up at the sports centre I told the guys to be here for a nine o'clock start. I arrived at quarter past eight and half the group were outside waiting for me so it just shows you know the interest and how keen they were and self-motivated to get involved as well. Every day that I was getting up I weren't like I didn't want to go. I'd get up wanting to come because I was enjoying it. And I knew at the end of it, we had a job interview. My auntie got told she paid a visit to the workshop and heard about sports and leisure and knew that I was interested in that area. And she let me know about it. We were guaranteed an interview, but like we had to do the rest ourselves. Mm. So like, obviously I did get an interview and they gave me the job. I got through it. And we got to like, it was one interview and then we got through to the second one. And I made mm. it through to the second one and got a job. Great experience, boosts up your confidence makes you want to keep going. I actually had you know, two interviews. The first interview was for, we found out at the end of it that it was for a part-time job, which I actually had to turn down. So I applied for them for a supervisory position. And I'm glad to say I got that. So it's been really good. It's been a good journey and I'd recommend anybody to do it. From day one, it was sort of, we all bonded and that just carried on all the way through. I, I, me personally, I'd do it all over again. I really feel the, the success was uh, down to, first and foremost, the coach right staff and their caring for the clients, but also you have to pay tribute to the way that the clients applied themselves to a voluntary programme. It's a sort of new area for coach right, if you like, and a new area for the business. Um, but in view of what we really do specialise in engaging with um, supposedly hard to reach communities, uh, our sort of specialty is sport. But this particular programme um, was a, a sports programme, but really, truly uh, a, a thread of personal development. At the start, Dan and Gans just said to me, get your foot in the door and it will open other doors for you and stuff. And it has, I've got a full-time job now, part-time here, part-time in town, lifeguarding. So it's, it's just all up from now. Myself, I'm obviously running the centre now and I'm doing all the setting up, all the management skills, and it's a big learning curve for myself, but a really enjoyable one. So. Now I actually feel like I'm a part of a team again, and I feel like I belong, and I want to bring that feeling to other people, and I think we're actually achieving that. And I know that the guys down here at the Motel Centre are doing a wonderful job. I think really from a, from a management point of view is that um, these people, have, uh, they've applied for, for, for work, uh, they've applied for training and they've had some sort of insight into the leisure industry. Having two weeks at Central Sports Centre working with the team down there, they've had an insight in what they wanted to do. What I've got to do now is give them clear direction, utilise that enthusiasm and that, that passion and give it some sort of direction. The general sort of um, vibes from the team is, is always very, very positive. They know each other, uh, we know them now, and uh, we're more like a family to be quite honest. And uh, you know, you, you can't you can't teach that commitment and enthusiasm and motivation and, and they've all got that with that exception. They're here because they want to be here, not because it's just pocket money or they've been told to go and get their job by their mum and dad. They're here because they want to be here and they want to learn. 
We interviewed 21 people, okay, they found out 21 jobs, they'd have all had a job, without exception, you know, because the, the, the quality, the skill, and the preparation that they'd, they'd been given uh, for the interview process, and it was quite a tough process. Um, it was very, very hard to sort of pick out from 21 people, six, um, to drive them forward. Uh, but the six we've got, you know, they're, they're the cream of the cream in my view. You know, they've got good aspirations and they've got a good career in leisure. So we've done well. Team effort. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>